Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are having a great day so far. So in the previous video in this Lenovo series, we have changed the old screen, which I believe was 768 pixels for this 1080 pixel panel. It was a remarkable improvement, which as we can see, and just a little bit here as the computer starts up, definitely has better viewing angles, better color reproduction. It's also a brighter screen in general. So it was a pretty simple upgrade. And uh, besides a couple little hindrances that we were able to get past, it turned out to be a successful project. However, for today, what we are going to be focusing on for this video is replacing the existing mechanical hard drive inside with this 256 gigabyte solid state drive along with the existing RAM to these two eight gigabyte sticks of RAM. I believe the current RAM of this computer is either four or eight gigabytes. We will find out when we go ahead and disassemble the bottom case. However, that being said, well, let's go ahead and shut down this computer, unplug it from the charger, and when we get back, we will see a top-down view of the bottom of the case. All right, so now we have moved the camera and we have a first look here at the bottom of this laptop. And upon sort of initial impressions, let's see, a little bit scratched and oh what's this oh uh, huh. all right it looks like someone might have been in here before it's always good so presumably i would think that underneath these ports just like any other laptop we should expect to see two ports for the ram under generally it's going to be the middle sort of uh, plastic piece here and in the bottom right typically for the hard drive so let's take a look at the RAM first and so let's see how much RAM is installed on this computer okay that one is loose and that one is loose as well now we can see that Huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. And suddenly it all becomes clear. Okay. What I suspect is that the previous owner of this laptop, uh, maybe they may or may not have become a little bit frustrated, lost a couple of screws when they realized that you can install two sticks of RAM in this computer, certainly, but it looks like one stick is going to go on the bottom and the other one is going to go on the other side of the logic board in the top, presumably under the keyboard somewhere. So yeah, that's always good. I mean, a great design, Lenovo, very cool. All right, well, I think for now we can go ahead. First thing I'm gonna do before I reinstall anything is just remove the battery. Probably should have done that earlier. We can see there's a little plastic notch there. So let's go ahead and slot this RAM stick in, making sure that uh, it's properly in place. Moving these uh, little metal brackets backwards. It doesn't really look very good. Um, pressure. Okay. So this one is installed. Let's uh, put this one back on. Very... Uh, where is it? 
Yeah. Very interesting design choices on Lenovo's part for her doing that. I cannot really see a reason. Probably do have a good reason, but it just makes it inconvenient for the end user in general. And we have our hard drive here. We can go ahead and pull that out. Put these little brackets. I actually kind of like these. These are pretty nice. Yeah. Put this over onto the new hard drive. Uh, it was installed this way, so these are actually going to be reversed. Okay. Let's see if we can go ahead and... Uh, I think it will be fine, as long as it slots in. this reinstalled. What I am going to do is off camera go ahead and check if that RAM stick is recognized. And also turn the laptop over so that we can see. Actually, no. I think I'm just going to check off camera uh, to see if the RAM stick is recognized. After that, we will go ahead and return and we will remove screws from the bottom to see what releases that keyboard on the top. Maybe I'll just go ahead and test that and uh, cut to myself removing the keyboard. Yeah, sounds like a better idea. We'll be right back. So I did manage to check off camera. It took a little bit longer than I expected because I forgot that this is a completely new solid state drive and I did not install an operating system on it. So I had to remove it, put the old one back in, check if the RAM was detected, which it was, then once again, turn it over, take out the old hard drive, put in the new one, and now we're back here. I think these symbols over here indicate that this screw in the center is for the other RAM slot as well as for the keyboard. So let's go ahead and remove that and uh, see if we can remove the keyboard from the top. screw removed. Let's go ahead and turn over the laptop. Um, I'm just going to unplug the battery just for uh, peace of mind. Go ahead and open the screen. Huh. Okay. Does it like slide out of place or something? Doesn't look like it. And nope. Okay, uh, a little bit more. Maybe it requires some more screws. Uh, <laughs> uh, a fun day. Okay, uh, be right back. And we are back. There was indeed another screw, which was actually under the RAM cover over here to the left of the installed RAM. It was one of these long cross-head screws I have over here. So to remove the keyboard, you need to remove these two screws. Why Lenovo did this, I do not know. 
Unbelievable. Okay, so moving back over to the top, we can go ahead and, and gently push the keyboard forward and fold it upwards. Do not be too rough with this because you could rip this delicate ribbon cable and that would not be ideal. Under this opaque uh, plastic cover, we can see here is where the four gigabytes of RAM resides. Excellent. Now the notch is going to be on the bottom. So reinstalling it, installing the new RAM, I should say, placing downwards. Now that the new RAM is installed, let's go ahead and push. See, there are actually little metal pieces here and that needs to be beneath this plastic lip on the front. So let's go ahead and slot that in first. And we have these little plastic notches that are going to slide in like downwards and inwards into place and just like that. And once we install those screws, this bowing sort of effect here is going to be tightened and it won't do that anymore necessarily. So let's go ahead and do that. Turning the laptop over and reinstalling those two screws. One. So it's stuck to my finger. That's great. Okay. This one. A little bit more. And that's two. Let's go ahead and reinstall the RAM cover. plastic tabs that need to sort of fit into place just like that. Okay. All right. Now we will go ahead and reinsert the battery. Since this particular hard drive does not have an operating system on it, I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10, and I'll be right back. All right, and now we're back. So none of the drivers are installed on this computer quite yet. It might be pretty uh, bright. However, we can see the installed RAM is 16 gigs. And if we go over to storage, on the left, we can see the hard drive being 237 gigs. So 256 gigs, 26.3 gigs used. Uh, that's probably still doesn't add up, but in any case, it is working as it should. So it's pretty a simple upgrade to do. It's a shame that Lenovo decided to put one of the RAM ports below the keyboard for some reason. These keyboards are replaceable. If you do prefer the old Lenovo style keyboards that are shaped like the traditional mechanical switches from those old IBM keyboards, those can be replaced on this laptop. However, uh, the person who this is going to actually prefers this chiclet style keyboard instead. So this is what is going to remain. I think the next steps for this are going to be installing all of the drivers and making sure that the brightness and the other function keys work. And in addition to that, on the side over here, there is a little express card port, which I plan on installing a uh, dual 
USB high speed card into. So that is also coming in the mail. However, I think, you know, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> okay. It looks like because we're connected to the internet, now it's starting to detect all of these devices. Let's see if we can turn up the brightness a little bit. Yeah. And it all works as it should, so. Yeah, I think that's going to end our little mini Lenovo series here. And I hope that the uh, person who this is going to is going to really enjoy using this computer. He uses it a lot for work, so he needed something that would be reliable and durable and something with a larger screen. So I hope this fits the bill. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a great time. Take care.